We've all had the frightening thought that someone or something was watching us or that an inanimate object had in fact come to life. Many people in Key West have not only felt that way, but they have also seen it happen when they look at the world's most haunted doll, Robert the Doll. Welcome to Moonjis, a place where you find all kind of facts and mind-twirling information that would make you realize that facts are much stranger than fiction. A little boy in a sailor suit, his careworn face is only vaguely human. His nub of a nose looks like a pair of pinholes. He is covered in brown nicks, like scars. His eyes are beady and black. He wears a malevolent smirk. Clasped in his lap he's holding his own toy, a dog with garish, popping eyes and a too big tongue lolling crazily out of its mouth. Robert the Doll, The Story Early in the 1900s, Robert Eugene Otto, or Gene as his family called him, was a young child when the household maid brought him an odd, straw-filled doll to play with. Gene adored his life-size doll and carried it everywhere he went. He even gave it the name Robert after his own name. But before long, people started catching hints of Robert the doll's malevolent and wicked character. According to rumors, the autos and their workers frequently overheard Gene speaking to himself in two distinct voices in his bedroom. The autos would also awaken in the middle of the night to Gene crying, only to see the terrified child in bed with furniture on its side. Robert the doll would look at Gene from the foot of the bed as Gene would accuse him of messing up the bedroom. Soon after, strange occurrences and mutilated toys would surface in the house, prompting Gene to exclaim, Robert did it, each time. The autos didn't quite believe Gene, but it was said that they could hear Robert giggling weirdly throughout the home, and some bystanders even claimed to have seen a little doll going from window to window. Robert was ultimately relocated to the attic, where he stayed for a few years. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to our channel so that we bring more of such amazing content every day. After his parents passed away, Gene inherited his family's Key West house and moved to the same place with his wife Anne. Also, Robert the doll was moved back into Gene's second floor turret chamber, which had been his old bedroom. Later he thought that the doll wanted his own space, so he put him in the upstairs room with the window looking out onto the street. And, who was uncomfortable having Robert around, requested Gene to lock the doll up in the attic, where he couldn't cause any harm. Visitors to the house soon heard someone moving back and forth and chuckling evilly, as well as footsteps in the attic. Children from the neighborhood claimed that Robert was taunting them as they headed to school, and that they saw him watching them from the window of the upstairs bedroom. Knowing that he had shut Robert in the attic and that there was no way he could be sitting at the window of the upstairs bedroom, Gene went to investigate as soon as he heard this. But to his total surprise, Robert was there, seated in the rocking chair by the window when he opened the door to the bedroom. No one knows what happened but Gene Otto died in 1974. What happened to the doll after the death of Gene? Robert the doll had a new guardian when Robert Eugene Otto passed away in 1974 and Myrtle Reuter bought the house. When the new owner moved into the house on Eaton Street, their 10-year-old daughter was overjoyed to discover Robert the doll in the attic. However, her joy ended soon. Even she claimed that Robert was still alive and that the doll intended to harm her. She frequently woke up in the middle of the night crying in terror and reporting to her parents that Robert had been moving around the room. The Reuters shared a 20-year relationship with Robert the doll, and rumor has it that when they had moved out into a new house in 1980s, they took Robert with them too. Where is Robert the doll now? In 1994, after concluding that the doll was definitely haunted, the new owner gave the spooky toy to the Fort East Martello Museum. Assuming that the Reuters' claims were obviously false, the museum accepted the doll and her accessories. However, the museum staff soon began reporting their own strange experiences with the doll. However, there is a long queue of people waiting to see Robert the doll. Stranger still, admirers and terrified believers write letters to Robert directly, occasionally asking for prayers and occasionally apologizing for having mistreated him while at the museum. If you like this video, a sub to the channel would be amazing and share the video with your friends to show off how different this world has been. You can also visit our website www.
Munjis.com for thousands of such mind-blowing content. See you tomorrow with more amazing content. Thanks for watching.